right, welcome to Lessons with John. Uh, today we're going to try White Christmas. Uh, this one is, uh, it's a little bit, I've tried to water it down as much as I could, make it as simple as possible. I didn't go overboard, so it's kind of in the medium, you know. Uh, the Bing Crosby one is very difficult, lots of, lots of chord changes and stuff. And, and uh, this one is not, you know, it's, it, it sounds like the song, so it's in a different key. It's in the key of C. Try to make it easy as, as easy as I could for you, okay? So, we're going to, um, here, let me just run through it, and then we'll talk about the chords later. Okay, so C major 7. Yeah. To a D minor 7, C major 7, C diminished 7, C major 7, D minor 7. F sharp 7, the G7. F, just like the G7 I used to see. And then C. D minor 7, G7, C, C major 7 to a C7, and then an F to an F minor 6, new chord, C, and then F, C, D9 to a G, D minor 7, to a G7, back to the beginning, C major 7, you could do a C chord there, D minor 7, C major 7, C diminished 7, C major 7, D minor 7, F sharp 7 to a G7, F chord to a G7, then a C, C, D minor 7, G7, C, C major 7, C7, and F, and then F minor 6, and may all your C chords be D minor 7 to C, a G7 to C, and then F, F minor, and then you could end it on a C major 7 with G in the bass. Or, if you like that, C6, 9 up there. All right, so uh, let's talk about your chords. All right, so a C major 7 is 5th string, 3rd fret, 4th string, 2nd fret, and then 1, 2, and 3 is open. So you can use that for your C major 7 if you'd rather do the C. All you have to do is put your first finger down on the second string first fret. C chord. Okay, so those are your uh, two of your chords. Uh, D minor 7. Uh, 1 and 2 strings at the first fret. Third string, second fret. Open fourth string. Okay, that's your D minor 7. Then you're back to the C major 7. Then you need the C diminished 7. All right. Fifth string, third fret. Third string, second fret, fourth string, fourth fret, second string, fourth fret. Okay, that's a tough one. Then you're right back to a C major seven, which you could finger like that. You could go. I think I went. Doesn't really matter. Any way you can do it, because it's you know you got four beats on the C major seven, and then one, 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 and back to the D minor seven. So, that's, gonna, that's the toughest measure in the whole song. Alright, who else do we have left? Now we have a F sharp 7. And we're going to move it right up a half step to the G7. So the F sharp 7 is the 6th string 2nd fret, 4th string 2nd fret, 2nd string 2nd fret, and 3rd string 3rd fret. I'm going to mute the 5th and the 1st string. And uh, I'm just going to go like this. I'm going to hit it once it up a half step and then hit it three times so it's an F sharp 7 here and a G 7 here okay uh, the G 7 is just the sixth string third fret fourth string third fret second string third fret third string fourth fret okay then you can go to any F chord you want uh, I'm gonna grab the sixth string first fret with my thumb second string uh, first fret 3rd string, 2nd fret, 4th string, 3rd fret. I mute the 5th and the 1st. That's 4 beats on that. Okay, and then you have a, a different G7. I mean, you could go to that same one if you want, but uh, we could go to the easy one. 1st string, 1st fret, 5th string, 2nd fret, 6th string, 3rd fret. Okay, so that's your G7. Uh, and then we already talked about the C chord. 2nd string, 1st fret, 4th string, 2nd fret, 5th string, 3rd fret. Okay? 
C major 7 we talked about. Uh, C7, all you have to do is add to a C chord, add the 3rd string 3rd fret. That's a C7 chord. You're going to need an F minor 6 chord. This one could be a little tricky. Not too hard to play, but tricky. Uh, I'm going to cover it. 3, 2, and 1 at the 1st fret. I want the open 4th string. And I'm going to grab the 6th string 1st fret. Like that. But I definitely want to mute that 5th string with that thumb. So if you can't do that, just play the top 4 strings or something like that. Because if you let it ring, that's an A natural. We want an A flat in the chord. So Okay, so I muted. And uh, that's an F minor 6 chord. We need a D9 chord. Uh, you could use a D7 chord too if you're not comfortable with this one. But here's a D9. 5th string. 5th uh, fret, 4th string, 4th fret, 3rd and 2nd string at the 5th fret. That's my D9. Uh, and let me give you the D7 right now. We'll talk about it when we do the progression. But 3rd string and 1st string, 2nd fret, 2nd string, 1st fret. That's a D7. That would also work. It's just the substitution. The D9 is a substitution for D7. Sounds more jazzy. Uh, F minor, uh, a couple different ways you could do it. Probably the way you know is you borrow the whole 1st fret, 5th and 4th string at the 3rd fret. Like that. And then you just need yeah, like an ending chord. Uh, from the F minor, I went to this one. I went to uh, C major 7 slash G. So that means G's in the bass. 4th string 2nd fret, 5th string 3rd fret, 6th string 3rd fret. And I kind of did a, you know, up up break, you know. Um, so I like that ending, but you could do a C6-9 if you'd rather do that. That's at the 4th uh, and 3rd string 7th fret, and then I bar, I bar those two with the 1st finger, and then my 3rd finger bars the 2nd string and the 1st string at the 8th fret, and then I put this guy over the top at an angle, he plays the 6th string 8th fret, my 5th string gets muted, that's a C6-9 chord. Alright, so those are all your chords. You can pause that and work on your chords for a while. I'll wait. So, the progression. Let's uh, talk about that. White Christmas. We got, you could use either a C or a C major 7 for four beats. And then D minor 7, C major 7, C diminished 7, C major 7. And that's how I'm going to get through that measure. That's, that's what makes this song so difficult, this one measure. Like, you know, uh, uh, he's dreaming of D minor 7, C major 7, C diminished 7, C major 7, and then D minor 7, F sharp 7 for 1, G7 for 3, F chord for 4, G7 for 4, and then he used to know a C. Couple extra beats on C, D minor 7, G7, C chord, C major 7 to a C7. And F chords go to F minor 6 chords. You could do an F minor there, uh, come to think of it, if you don't like this chord. And then a C chord, and then F once, C once, and then D9 for twice. If you'd rather have, you do the D7 twice if you want. And then D minor 7 to the G7. And then you're back to the beginning, C or C major 7. And then D minor 7, C major 7, C diminished 7, C major 7, D minor 7, to an F sharp, to a G7, F chord, to a G7, to a C, C, and then D minor 7, G7, C, to C major 7, C7, and I'm not going to sing high, but it's, it goes up high to F, <laughs> and then F minor 6. And then you end it with C, may all your D minor 7s, G7s, B, C. And then F, F minor, and then the C major 7, the G in the bass, or, or anything like that will do. Alright, so it's, it's a little awkward. So some of the chords only get one strum, some of them get one, and then some of them get three in a measure. It's, uh, it's a little awkward. Uh, but um, there it is. I, I watered it down a little bit, but so it's 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 it'll take some practice, but you can do it. Okay.
Uh, any questions, comments down below, uh, please subscribe. Merry Christmas and thanks for watching. Play more guitar.